Hello, Blender enthusiasts. Welcome to an exciting adventure into the world of awesome Blender tools. Today, I have an exciting lineup of best new Blender add-ons that are sure to enhance your workflow as a 3D artist. Before we dive in, let's talk about Blender Kit first, because they are offering over 40% off on Pro Yearly Plan, which will give you access to over 73,000 Blender Assets collection of high-quality 3D models, materials, textures, and brushes from creators worldwide. You can choose between the free and full plans, both packed with valuable resources. This add-on supports customizable tags and advanced filters, helping you quickly find what you need. Plus, you can explore different collections handpicked by experienced creators or even sell your own assets within the community. So if you use my link which is in the description, you will get additional 10% discount on Pro. Offer ends on 31st of July so get before it ends. Now first up we have Ultimate Generators Bundle V2 by Blender Procedural. This ultimate asset library of geometry nodes effects, procedural simulation setups, and 3D generators. Elevates your Blender workflow with over 50 ready-to-use procedural assets, from city generators and fluid sims to stylized effects and simulation presets. All setups are built with geometry nodes for ultimate flexibility and performance. Trust me, this is the best procedural bundle available on the market. Next up, we have Arborea. It's a growing library of premium nature assets and procedural tools for building stunning 3D environments in Blender. From photoreal to fantasy, it gives you fast access to 600 plus optimized assets, an intuitive scatter system, and powerful geometry node tools like vines, ivy, and snow. Arborea assets are built to look great in your renders, with high-quality textures, optimized performance, and details that hold up even in close-up shots. Built-in presets make animating trees and foliage effortless. Add natural wind motion in seconds, no setup required. Arborea lets you tweak materials directly with built-in sliders for color, season, and variation, plus options to add moss to trunks with a single click. Easily toggle between summer, autumn, winter, or different model variations without re-importing. Custom Pi menus let you access core features like asset browsers, and a lot more features. Further, we have Motion Node. It is a node-based system for Blender, inspired by the simplicity and flexibility of MoGraph in Cinema 4D. It's built around small, efficient building blocks, generators, selectors, fields, deformers, and more, that help you create motion graphics faster and with less repetition. Designed to streamline routine tasks, it removes the need for vector math and repetitive node setups. In addition, a set of lightweight add-ons enhances the user experience, making your daily workflow smoother and more intuitive. This includes total of 82 motion nodes and three add-ons. Next one is Real Motion Pro. It is a feature-packed Blender add-on designed to revolutionize your animation workflow. With an extensive animation library and powerful tools, this add-on is perfect for animators looking to save time and achieve good results effortlessly. This add-on comes with a full guide in a detailed PDF document that explains every feature step by step. The full documentation is included inside the package for easy access. Full version consists of Auto Rig Pro, Rigify, Mixamo, and Daz all in one compatible plus additional 1700 plus mocap animations. Up next we have Geoface. It is a fully procedural face system powered by Blender's geometry nodes. It generates and animates detailed facial features, eyes, nose, mouth, with ease and realism. No manual rigging required. Moving on, there is a new 7.1 update to Botanic, which includes a lot of new assets, new add-on features, scatter packs, filter assets based on their geographical location, and a lot more. Next is Camera Tracker by CG Matter. This add-on takes a huge burden off your shoulders if you've ever had to deal with Blender's native motion tracking tools. Instead of manually placing trackers and hoping for the best, Camera Tracker simplifies everything into a near one-click experience. Just adjust your desired settings and hit track. It'll do the rest automatically. According to the creator, it handles even difficult scenarios where Blender often struggles, such as zooming footage or extended takes. Plus, it generates a sparse point cloud for alignment, which can really come in handy for integrating 3D elements. 
It utilizes photogrammetry techniques in the background, but as a user, you won't need to worry about the technicalities. And next is ever-expanding add-ons bundle, called Genie, which includes all best CG Matters tools, including camera tracker and tools like Sweat Sim, Melt Sim, Shrink, and more. If you're into procedural workflows, grabbing the Genie bundle is the smarter move instead of buying each tool individually. It's a one-time purchase with lifetime updates. Up next is Go Boss Master, made available by Mr. 3D. Rendering realistic shadows and large scenes can be a computational nightmare, especially when adding objects like trees and windows just for their shadows. When dealing with 500 to 1000 frames of animation, this can waste a significant amount of processing power. That's where Go Boss Master comes in. By eliminating unnecessary geometry, it optimizes efficiency and dramatically reduces render times. It's a comprehensive library covering 13 categories of over 188 high-quality Go Boss to create ultra-realistic shadows in your scenes. And the best part, you can easily add Go Boss with the Go Boss Master add-on, and all the mapping controls are in the panel for easier access. Right now, it's over 40% off, an additional 10% off for my viewers. So if you're looking to add realism to your work, Go Boss Master is a perfect choice. Next up, we have Strand Kit. If you've been struggling to get natural looking hair and fur in Blender, you'll want to check out Strand Kit. This is a full featured hair and fur library designed for ease and realism. With 24 base hairstyles from straight to coily, and over 150 fur patterns for animals, you can build hair systems with just a drag and drop. It includes shader presets, customizable parameters, and even a feather generator. Whether you're working on humans, creatures, or game-ready characters, Strand Kit comes with over 1,000 unique hair cards and full physics integration, making it a go-to solution for any project involving hair dynamics. Further, we have Scene Boost. When working with heavy scenes, performance often takes a hit. That's where Scene Boost comes in. This tool automates the process of creating proxies and LODs, levels of detail. Essentially, it builds low-resolution versions of your meshes and textures and dynamically swaps them based on your workflow. So while you're navigating the viewport, you see lightweight assets, but when it's time to render, the full quality versions are loaded automatically. You can configure exactly what gets optimized, meshes, textures, or both, and even exclude certain elements to retain full control. It can significantly improve your workflow and allows you to realize projects that weren't possible before due to hardware limitations. Up next, is the organic add-on by 3D Dude allows you to create abstract, dynamic organic shapes easily. It includes gel-like materials, pattern presets, and procedural drawing capabilities. This system gives you full control over shape, density, collisions, and detail, no tedious modeling required. Just turn it on, tweak the settings, and watch your scene come to life. Moving on, we have cut and wrap add-on. It allows you to turn any PNG, leaves, decals, logos, whatever, into a perfectly trimmed mesh with clean quad topology in just one click. What used to take hours of tedious hand modeling can now be done instantly. Next one is Procedural Generators Bundle V2 by Blender Easy. Supercharge your Blender workflow with this ultimate procedural bundle, featuring 17 high quality tools for terrain, holograms, snow, rope, voxels, dust, and more. Bringing in external images just got easier with PowerPaste. Instead of importing files manually, you can now copy any image to your clipboard and paste it directly into Blender with a hotkey. It supports normal images with transparency, as well as a high-precision mode for displacement or height maps. The smart paste for height maps increases image bit depth automatically smoothing out banding issues and avoiding those nasty artifacts common with 8-bit data. It's a small change to your workflow, but one that feels instantly efficient. Next up, we have Scatterflow, a super fun and effective tool for generating real-time object simulations. The concept is simple. Drop a spawn emitter, choose a collection of objects, and press play. The system simulates the dropping and bouncing of objects with live collision physics. You can randomize the scale, rotation, spawn frequency, or let it go wild for infinite chaos. What makes it even cooler is the iteration mode, where you can grab and move objects mid-simulation, interactively tweaking how things settle or bounce around. And yes, 
It supports cloth dynamics too, so you can throw in some fabrics and see how they behave. It's incredibly fun and also great for concept shots or creative experimentation. Further next, we have G-Trash add-on. Ever wanted to add a touch of realism to your scenes? This trash generator is here to help. This tool automatically adds trash elements like bottles, cans, food waste, and paper to your 3D scenes. With just one click, you can enhance the overall atmosphere with grunge, moss, and dust effects. Perfect for your 3D environments. This add-on includes over 280 assets and allows you to edit materials easily. Next, there's a new tool by Spagat Me Not called UV Factory. If you find UV unwrapping repetitive and frustrating, this one's for you. UV Factory simplifies the whole process by offering stable projection techniques and tools to offset, rotate, align, or randomize your UVs however you need. You can also copy maps and repack UVs efficiently. It's modular, flexible, and super helpful for artists who want more control without spending hours on tedious UV adjustments. Another great tool just got a serious upgrade. MemSaver from Polygonic is now at version 1.3. This memory-saving add-on is built to optimize your VRAM usage by analyzing object complexity and adjusting mesh resolution and texture size based on the camera's distance. The new version adds features like adaptive previews, mesh decimation that supports animation frames, and a non-destructive cache-based workflow. It comes in three versions, personal, professional, and studio, so you can pick one that matches your needs. If you want faster renders without compromising visual quality, looking to populate your scene with vegetation, Tree Designer is a powerhouse. It includes a collection of over 400 trees, from highly realistic to completely stylized, including bonsai and sci-fi options. And each tree is fully tweakable. You can adjust everything, trunk size, branch twist, leaf density, and even wind animations. The latest version also supports flowering trees, adding even more detail to your worlds. A must-have for environment artists. Creating beautiful, stylized clouds in Blender often requires a combination of time and complex technical skills. But not anymore, as Rai has made stylized cloud generator for all of you. Designed mainly with NPR slash stylized renders in mind, this tool lets you craft stunning skies effortlessly. It simplifies the process from idea to render, allowing you to bring a variety of artistic styles, such as anime, painterly, semi-realistic, to life faster than ever. If you are like me, who have a lot of add-ons installed, then the end panel manager helps organize the end panel, which can quickly become cluttered, especially if you've installed many add-ons. This tool lets you create custom tabs, assign add-ons to them, and collapse or hide sections you don't use frequently. After installation, you can start creating tabs right away, naming them based on your workflow, for example. Grouping modeling tools under one tab and rendering tools under another. This makes it faster to locate the tools you need without scrolling through a long list. You can also exclude certain add-ons from being managed if you rarely use them but don't want to uninstall them. Additionally, the add-on includes update management, allowing you to check for and download the latest versions of your add-ons directly from the panel. For anyone working on diverse projects or frequently switching between workflows, the end panel manager is a great way to customize and optimize Blender's interface. That's it for now. All these tools and add-ons are linked in the description below, so be sure to check them out. Let me know what caught your eye in the comments. If you enjoyed this or found it helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, share it around, and if you're new here, consider subscribing and turning on notifications so you never miss an update.